Okay, so here we are with day, what is it now? Day four, week one. Uh, so now week two now, so this is the second start of the second session um, of this phase. As you see Andy, it's literally what I have to deal with every day. Every time he walks in, he picks up whatever I'm lifting and just says, how's that feel? So, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, so yeah, so just today I had snatch deadlifts from, um, from a weak spot. So for me, that's generally just uh, below the knee, um, sort of just a, you know, kind of three quarters of the way up the shin. It's generally where I kind of slow down. So I'm starting just below my sort of sticking point and then dry pulling through using a weight uh, about 140% of what I was using uh, on Monday uh, for my snatches. So I'm just, it's all relative at the moment. So just going off what I'm currently lifting. Um, just so I'm not, I'm not going off my all-time percentages because I'm not at that level yet <laughs> if you know what I mean because uh, so I'm just building back up again so uh, as you can see I put plates on the inside I generally do that like if I know the sort of weight I'm gonna go hit at the top I just put it on the inside um, just to make putting plates on easy really uh, nothing more than that um, so we're just building up to and here's Andy again he thought he was going to try and snatch it, but he whipped out right at the end. Um, and so then we went up to about, uh, so we did 55 kilos on the first set, went up to 85, then 105, and then went up to about 125. Um, so just using, uh, I thought I'd be traditional and use sort of the Chinese plate system. They use a lot of yellows and greens. This makes it easier as well, just loading the bar rather than having to, um, take plates off, take them on again um, in that position. But I was just really working today on just trying to stay over the bar, but also that hip extension. So just my intention was to really try and drive the hips through, but also my intention was to go up. So keeping the bar path as straight as possible, as vertical and keeping it as close as possible and having that little snap at the top, just to keep that intention of a snatch rather than just deadlift where you generally decelerate at the top. Um, so here we have, what was it, 105, again just working, um, the same sort of position. I've changed as well just my shoulder position, so when I'm in this sort of snatch position, trying to shrug my shoulders, protract them, and uh, almost elevate my shoulders, so I'm shrugging up. I found that really useful, I used to try and retract and depress my shoulders quite hard. But then I just couldn't, my pull was poor because I just couldn't, if you try it, like if you try to retract your shoulders and depress them, and you try then to elevate your shoulders like into a shrug, there's not much movement. But if you try and protract and then elevate, you can get a lot, a much bigger shrug. And I'm finding my pull was, it's helping out my pull a lot. I kind of learned that from, I saw a video, I think it was by Clock Off or Ideal, when they were touring back in 2014, showing that sort of method. And I think a lot of the Russians and Chinese used have a more relaxed shoulder. Um, and I'm actively trying to protract rather than retract. So have my rhomboids in a stretch position. And that seems quite nice at the moment. The other thing you can see now I'm on my sort of top sets with 125 is trying to be as quiet as possible. And this is a nice, um, I've, you know, uh, the coach Eddie, who Eddie Zhang, who wrote this program, is emphasizing a lot of sort of uh, controlled deadlifts. And so when putting the bar back down, that you're not slamming it, you're controlling it through the whole range, and that makes total sense to me. From just having to control the eccentric, but also again, that's just like isometric off the floor. And for me, sometimes in the past, getting off the like when doing deadlifts, getting off the floor has been my weakness, and I'm finding this to really help with my pulling strength off the floor and just from certain positions um, and you'll see from a lot of Chinese weightlifters they will use these controlled eccentrics where they don't just s drop the weights um, and, but I'm sure this will change though throughout the year uh, where I'll be doing more uh, more speed and just concentric based movement rather than focusing on the eccentric but at the moment just working on that so then I went to power cleans I had four by five um, on this, so we went um, from 70, I went, I went 50 first, then went 70, and then um, I got 90 afterwards in the end. 
again I just kind of base this off uh, percentages so like the other day I was cleaning 132 about 9% and so then if I went so I based it off kind of like 145 then I went right to so 145 you know worked out my what my power point should be so I'm using kind of the ratios that from the Chinese system of what you know your power clean should be in relative terms towards your clean and then worked out to 75% of that so kind of five reps um, for my cleans so uh, using sort of prolepin's table um, so a lot of different kind of systems there but it felt about right and I'm using the push system as well as you see on my right arm so I was just trying to keep within that sort of speed bracket so I had a few different measurements I'm just trying uh, different measures, I mean metrics to kind of keep track of. Really with the push system I'm just measuring everything at the moment. I don't, I don't really know, I want to try and find out what my norms are and then I can see over the coming weeks and months if my speed, if I can try and improve on the speed of the lifts but also using it to help monitor like overtraining so I'm not doing too much. Um, so whether using a sort of a percentage based system or an RPE system or using more of a the VBT, so velocity-based um, training system. Just trying to find out what really works best for me, and which one I can respond to the best. Because um, strict percentages, I in the past I've got quite frustrated with. You know, because you know, not every day are we feeling good, or some days we feel amazing, but some days we feel terrible because we're getting tired, or you know, work's been you know busy or whatever it is. So, whereas I kind of like just going off how I feel that day. So that's where like the VBT and RP system is probably better. But with the RPE, it's a bit too vague. I find like I want to know how much I really should be lifting. And that's why I'm enjoying the, v the the push system because it's saying right, you're not hitting this speed now, even if you are trying 100%. So this is the weight you should be using today, um, which I'm especially liking. I think at the moment with more strength movements so like squats and pulls rather than the, the, the speed work so we'll have to really see with that i don't really know um so then after that after all the power cleans just went into uh, had some flat dumbbell bench presses just working that not that interesting just kind of four sets of eight to twelve um and just more sort of hypertrophy. So I started kind of doing like 50 seconds on for the first two sets, doing three seconds down, one second up. So again, about 12 reps. For the third set, I went to 40 seconds, then for the, to so get about 10 reps. And then for the last set, I went to sort of 30 seconds. So. is kind of definitely more new. Exercises for a vertical horizontal push pull and then into uh, some sort of conditioning work. Um, so my mentor and coach Tom Crudington, Crudington has um, you know, he's been analysing what some of my old lifting and stuff, and just basically kind of look, he's been watching me obviously train for the last sort of four years, and it's just giving me some kind of awkward. Uh, one, he kind of feels like I need to do more awkward lifting, so I'm doing more sort of kettlebells and like the strongman medleys, so using like the Atlas, the slam, heavy slam balls, just doing more awkward stuff, just to hit. Um, stuff I haven't really trained in a long time. I've never really properly trained kettlebells, so I'm excited to use these for a while. Um, and as you can see here, I'm doing just sort of three, uh, I did, it was six three minute blocks, um, 40 on, 20 off, uh, just doing different uh, kettlebell exercises. I won't go through because it's kind of Tom's intellectual property. And I'm, I don't really want to give it away. If you want to find out more, you should go, go down to Body Development and Bath and see him. Um, but yeah, just went through just a load of different kettlebell exercises. So six three-minute blocks with one minute rest in between, doing 40 seconds on, 20 off. Um, and these are feeling really nice, especially for my shoulders. And again, just kettlebells feel totally different to dumbbells or barbells. So it was nice. It's nice using these, and I just want to work on, especially for the next three, four weeks, is work on 
did with this weight was 16 kilos and just work on getting more reps and faster with it and then after the first month we'll then try and go heavier go up to a 20 or a 24 kilo kettlebell and try to do the same workout but just heavier um, and so yeah just some different exercises you might see but this kettlebell one especially it develops quite quickly it ends up being a complete sweat fest um, it kind of catches up with you massively but again you can see like bottoms up kettlebell works just different angles there's different stuff rather than just using barbells all the time for me that's been a massive change that I've learned from Tom and doing more of his stretch and move and all this odd sort of lifting just different lifting it's just helping my body and my joints um, you know I've had a lot of injuries in the past just from sort of rugby days and they're still there but all this sort of stuff is just helps my body just feel more stable and stronger and also just helps with my recovery rather than just training in one plane of motion I'm now training in multiple planes um, and doing more calisthenic work which is helping a lot and then you can see here we get a bit of 